A guilty verdict for the former University of Arizona student who shot and killed a professor on campus in 2022. The jury found Murad Dervish guilty of first degree murder. The defense tried to argue Dervish was insane when he killed the professor, Dr. Thomas Meixner. The defendant had several outbursts during the trial, leading some to wonder if they were done on purpose to help his insanity defense. True crime correspondent Brianna Whitney has been following this for us. Did the guilty verdict come as a surprise to anyone? Yeah, not necessarily. We knew that might be the case here, but there was something that was surprising, and that was how fast the jury came back with the verdict, all of them agreeing this was premeditated murder. A lot of testimony revolved around mental health issues Murad Dervish struggled with for years, but that doesn't always equate to insanity. The fact that they came to such a quick verdict makes me believe that at the close of the case, they did not believe the insanity claim. Russ Richelsoff is a criminal defense attorney unaffiliated with the case. He says it's likely the 12 jurors already had their minds made up after weeks of testimony and reaffirmed that with each other in the juror room. The defense arguing that when Murad Dervish went to the University of Arizona campus and shot and killed hydrology professor Thomas Meixner, he was having a psychotic episode and should be found guilty except insane of second degree murder. But the prosecution arguing this was premeditated. He was expelled from the school, took actions to prepare for the shooting and tried to hide his involvement after because he knew it was wrong. He purchased the handgun the month before. He wore a hat. He wore the surgical mask. He, he did these things to hide his identity. The trial saw several dramatic moments during testimony, but perhaps some of the most memorable were outbursts Murad Dervish had in the courtroom. You have a lot of lies, okay, Mr. Dervish? And if my lawyer is any kind of lawyer, he's going to expose the lies right now. So, All right. Okay. If you just wait to speak, Mr. Dervish, if you speak up again, I'll be going to be removed from the courtroom. Could that have been a tactic by Dervish's attorneys to aid in their insanity defense? Richelsoff says he doubts it. If lawyers were to coach a client like that to have outbursts in court, it would be an ethical violation and it would be a serious ethical violation. Is it possible that the defendant himself thought that this was a tactic that, you know, might convince a jury he was insane? Possibly. Dervish was convicted on all six counts he was charged with, including burglary, aggravated assault, and endangerment, and was ordered to be held without bond until his sentencing. That is now scheduled for June 24th, guys. One of those outbursts is when he tried to fire his defense team in yeah. the middle of court one day uh, fairly recently. So a very quick verdict. Um, they tried to prove guilty except insane. They failed to do that. Why did they fail? What did they fail to prove? So they needed to convince the jury that Murad Dervish was at odds with reality, that when he went there that day, he did not know what he was doing was wrong. So had they used something, I mean, had it been something like, you know, he thought zombies were telling him to do something wow. and that he needed to save the world, that's the type of things that they're looking at when you're looking at an insanity sense, defense. Yeah. But not when you have, you know, a motive, you, you clearly have gotten a gun before hand, right. you wore something to conceal your identity, that's where the jurors said, no, nope, right. we're not right. buying it there, and that's where it kind of deviates. Right, and it all not makes sense, but the, the storyline is almost put together right. versus, a, versus a story where it comes out of nowhere and you're like, what is going on here? Right, and yeah. so that's, that's the thing. They could not prove or they didn't prove yeah. that he didn't know what he was doing was wrong at the time. They mm. believe, the jurors believe he knew what he yeah. was doing was wrong. Yeah, and it was it sounds like it was could have been planned. Right. See what All happens right. at sentencing. Yeah. Brianna, thank you.